Hello everyone. And the first one and Andy and Stuart. Hello everybody. Lebanchina. Tom Galetti. Oh, got 12 straight away. Let's go and have some snacks before lunch. Some cheese. How's everybody? A little bit windy. Let's see if the chat is on. Live chat. Okay. From Bristol. Richard. How are you doing, Richard and Andy? Welcome to Englishman. Listen, guys. What's happened to my video? Only 300 views from yesterday. That was an awesome cave in Dingley. Go and have a look at it if you get a chance. I'm going to try and keep the chat on live. I thought if I kept it like this, maybe it would fix it, but it didn't seem to fix it. It seems to still go off the chat. Oh, chicken. And... For lunch, galetti and cheese. <laughs> and lemoncino. Wait for a few people to come on. 18, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, guys. Really helps. I was really uh, concerned about the video. It, it started off yesterday really hopeless. I didn't know if it was YouTube because they're playing around like awful with the... Uh, with channels, they're taking off sub subscribers. Uh, I lost about 20 videos that I used to watch. When I go onto them, they're unsubscribed. So I wonder if that's what's happened. They've unsubscribed a lot of people. They don't know the video is on. I was wondering if that's the problem. Hello, Blackpool. How are you doing, Emily? I have to check if you still subscribe to my channel because they're unsubscribing loads of people and I don't know why. Hello Paul Camilleri, how are you and Andy? YouTube is really rubbish and the, even the monetization. They just wipe off like 20, 30 euros overnight and then I don't know where it even goes. Purple Rain, hello, how are you? Welcome to live Purple Rain. Go and see her channel. Got a nice one from Philippines. Cynthia, how are you? Sunday morning, relaxing. Oh, this is the church of uh, Balzan. Lovely little village. <laughs> Go and see her channel, Purple Rain. She's, uh, she's in uh, oh, where? Kuwait. You're in Kuwait, I think. Oh yeah, London. It's lovely here, but the wind picked up as soon as I started putting the stuff together for the video. It came, it came on again. The wind blowing like crazy. I'm on the fourth floor, so we still got the crane here. They're getting up slowly. They're coming up level with, so they're going to go a bit higher than me, I think. Hello, black water. Oh. Go and see her channel. She, but she speaks in Philippi, you have to start speaking in English. <laughs> Hello Belfast, we've all been there many times, Belfast. Gerald Power, Paul, how are you? I'll just wait for a few more people, 35. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, guys. Go and see my video of Dingley Cave. You missed it, it's an awesome cave. I put the GoPro on my head as well and I walked through the cave. Oh, got a seven. Now we're about 20, mid 20s I bet it is today. It's quite good. Just a little bit of wind that comes up somewhere. Everybody knows Purple Rain. What's this? She knows everybody. <laughs> She's a woman that's known all over. Hi Jim, how are you doing Jim? Today, uh, we didn't have a, the professor didn't talk about the, the virus. Yesterday, we just had two cases, so it's getting better. Somebody asked me just now on a message <coughs> about the flights. I know somebody on Facebook has come out uh, like the 1st of July, the flights are going to start. So 
I've got no information on it at all. What, uh, Balzan, you, you came here, Andy. Hello, Skillet, how are you doing? Welcome, good morning, everybody. 34, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to go and see the last video, because you really need some views. 300, I can't believe ever having a, lately having a video that just got up to 300. My video has been going up seven and a thousand quite quick. <coughs> ah, Malta, it's beautiful. A lot of my uh, friends out, there's one over in Camino at the moment. Camino's open now, so maybe I'll go and have a look over there. Uh, the, the boat from Malta to Camino isn't open, but you have to go to Malta to uh, Gozo and then from Gozo to Camino, so it might be a bit difficult for me to do in an afternoon. 1980, that's a long time ago. About time you come back, Andy. Mark, how are you doing? Welcome to Englishman. And what's it like over there? It's cold. Cheers, everybody. Good morning. Happy Sunday. Lemoncello. I'm in the Italian mood today. I'm not going to drink any lager. This is the church of uh, Balzan. Still closed, all the churches are closed. Uh, the shops are all open now, restaurants all open, but big restrictions. You have to be meters, two meters apart, and the sterilizing of the equipment, it's a lot of hassle. Let me just put the chats up. Oh, Andy, you can rob a bank, Andy, if you want to get here desperately. I'm having cheese and galetti today. Morty's galetti. Oh, look, you can see the holes in it. You can see my face in there. <laughs> and some cheese. Not Morty's cheese. Vegetarian. It's nice, it's vegetarian. vegetarian. A bit sharp. But really nice. Anyway, this video, go and see it from Dingley. Uh, Nicole told me, go and see Nicole at Holiday Motor. Don't forget to go to Holiday Motor and put some photographs on if you've got some you want to share with us. Oh, where did Malta, Andy? Tell me where and I'll do something for you. If you want to make a little bit of a video, they're buried here in Malta. I want to go to some more. There's one in Antafa. Um, cemeterium, they call it in Maltese. Cemetery. It's like um, a war graves as well. It'd be really interesting. Oh, okay. I'm sure they won't mind you for a, a few weeks to come over here. Lifestyle Thai cooking. Hello. How are you, Tika? Welcome to Englishman. Happy Sunday. Beautiful day today. There's hardly... Over this way, there's a few clouds. There's the, villi the village of uh, Balzan. And we've still got our friendly crane here, building up, blocking my view of uh, uh, Santa Lina. Linda, how are you? Good morning. Go and see lifestyle cooking Thai food. Very, very good. Uh, she does a lot of cooking of, uh, of food, of uh, Thai cooking, very unusual food. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. Uh. Thank you, Mark, and you. Oh, you're in uh, Baria. Oh, I love it down there. You can go down to Formiri. I haven't been there for ages. I've got a friend that lives there, Baria. Now you buy these, Andy. This is Galetti. Maltese water biscuits. I'm on a diet. You can buy them here. They have all sorts of people do them. You use them for the gilla, for dips, those sort of things. Um, they're just like a small water biscuit. Very popular in Malta. You get a dip, like the gilla, and you dip it in there. Or you can have it with cheese. Anyway, I was telling you about this um, cave. 
going to the video, about mid-twenties mark, something like that. A little bit of a cold breeze though. We're having it from, uh, yeah, I couldn't find any gozo cheese. I've got some vegetarian. Rimat, how are you? Welcome to the live. Gozo cheese is lovely. Andrea, how are you? Welcome. You're a bit late, where you been? It's already 10 past one. <laughs> I got the video, I was saying that it uh, didn't do very well and I didn't really know you should see it. I've got, when I came out the cave, I was surprised because uh, a friend of mine that she puts videos on uh, Holiday Mortar, she puts vi uh, photographs, I mean to say. She said, you must go and see this cave. It's in Dingley. I've been Dingley loads of times. I've been walking up and down. Uh, oh, for years, I've, I've never seen a cave there. As you come past the chapel, you walk down a little bit. And then she said, she, she sent me a little video so I followed the video. It can't be here. It's, a, it's massive drops. Wow, this is, you see the video. You, if you go and watch my last video, you see it. And then there's this little pathway just down by the side of some rocks. You walk down there and then you just open up. You're right on the edge. It's a little bit scary in places because it's uh, very close. If you stick to the rocks, you, you're not so bad. Get some good shoes because the rocks and the, the pathway is a bit rough. Then you go to sort of through some little caves and then when you go up some stairs, wow, there's this awesome cave. As big as uh, uh, the one Agbir in, uh, over by Busquet. It's, one of, it's, it's a little bit smaller than the very big one of Agbir. Let me go. Uh, don't forget guys, give me a thumbs up. You're only 25 and you're 53 watching. <laughs> Good morning everybody. Happy Sunday. Listen, we're doing good, Morta. We just two cases yesterday. So, hopefully it's on the way down. Restaurants are open, but not many people are going, I think, to the restaurant. It's a bit difficult. It's like two meters apart, and there's only five people allowed to the table. Everybody's sanitizing. The waiters all with masks and things like that. It's not a pleasant environment to go in. But I don't know. Would you go and eat in a restaurant like that? It's a bit difficult, eh? Anyway, what's been happening with your life? Anybody want to ask me anything? You're all quiet today. Hey, Blatter, I went, yeah, I've got a video of it. We go back and have a look at it, Andy. Spaghetti hoops. <laughs> Wait for the next one on Thursday. I'm not sure. I might put it up to you which one you want me to do. I've got spaghetti normally, uh, normal spaghetti. I've got baked beans. Uh, I might make toad in the hole or bangers and mash. Or um, I've got those. I never saw that when I was a kid, but someone told me there was about uh, baked beans, curried baked beans. The chili ones for definite. I'm pleased you like it. It's not getting many views, but I was surprised my last one, it's an adventure. And normally they shoot up to a thousand adventures and it didn't even it didn't even break 200 in the first few hours and I thought, God, what's happening here? And today when I woke up, it's not even at 300, so either everybody's out, out and about and they're not watching videos, so I don't know what's going on. Go and see it, it's lovely. This, uh, the Dingley Cave is right at the end. I go to the... Uh, I, get some, I get some weird noises though, I tell you. I went to the chapel and I got this little noise I didn't hear it at that time, but when I'm editing the, uh, the video, I heard these bleeps off the microphone. I thought, that's really weird. When I went to the, uh, you know, the radar, that big ball, I don't know if anybody's ever been up there. There's like a radar station. When I, the more I got closer, the more the bleeping started. So I thought, wow, well, that's, that's really weird. I don't know, it's going to be a toss-up. I haven't edited the video yet. There's a, there's a couple for Tuesday, uh, it's going to be Tuesday or Wednesday, Maltese food. Then Thursday, the uh, childhood uh, memories. <laughs> Indiana, yes, thank you Richard and Kelly. I love them as well. And they wouldn't have found this one if it hadn't been for Alison, in, um, she come, she's on a holiday motor. Now she's going over by, uh, I think she went over to Dewey today. She sends loads of photographs.
Yeah, Blatter. I think it is. I'm... I don't know if you're talking about Blatter Talmel or Blatter. It depends. There's a lot. Sometimes there's a lot of places with the same name in Malta. Because I, I was trying to look for this place called uh, uh, the Inland Pool. But there's about four of them, so to find the right one is really difficult. Hello, Simple Life. Uh, I haven't even looked at your channel. You got the channel? Go and see Simple Life. I'm going to start doing Gozo, but it's a, it's a bit difficult for me uh, to do everything in the afternoon. Tanya, how are you doing? Good morning, happy Sunday. <laughs> are you understanding me, Purple Rain? <laughs> Tom Kelly, good morning. Welcome to Englishman. Don't forget the thumbs up, please. Really helps my channel, helps the computer. And it's supposed to push on the uh, videos, but it didn't do much for the last one. <laughs> Go and look at my last one. Uh, it's really exciting, especially when I get inside the cave. Oh, yeah, I've been, I have been to the uh, bunker, Paul. Hello, good morning, Paul, Paula Bella. I have been there, but I didn't do a video. Uh, there's one underneath, you're talking about the one underneath the restaurant, I, I guess. I went there, um, and he was a bit strange with me, the guy. They were closing, I think they wanted to get rid of me. Hello, Debbie, from West Midlands. That's my uh, haunt from my home place. I was uh, born in West Bromwich. I don't know if you know that place, Debbie. If you know West Midlands, you know West Bromwich. I lived in Birmingham a long time. Thank you, Larry. I think you're the only one that watched it. Because <laughs> it's really down the views. Yeah, I know. Uh, Dingley, there was something reported with the council about this. You're talking about... Uh, There's a, there's a problem with Dingley, because over the years, they, uh, they claimed the land at the bottom of Dingley. And I read somewhere, like, they shouldn't, they shouldn't be able to do it. And they're blocking off the roads going down. A lot of people have put these signs up, private, no entry, and they shouldn't do them. They've got dogs and things like that, so they're not letting the tourists go down the bottom of Dingley. And the only other way to get to Dingley, you've got to go right up, uh, up the back end. Um, I don't know if you've seen, I did a live up there once. And to, it's a bit dangerous to go down. So I don't know what's going to happen about that. It's over the years and nobody's bothered and Malta, typically there's... Nobody wants to cause any hassle. Yeah, there's a lot of places though, Andy. I don't really know. Yeah, look, no... Liam. No clouds. On this side though. I'm hiding the clouds behind the, uh, the buildings. Oh, hello sir. I don't know. San Juin... Wah. That's a very difficult one for me. Hello, Purple Rain. Happy Sunday to all. Not to me. Some Paul's Bay. That's another story, eh? Stuart, I just couldn't believe my eyes when I went there. I opened my first bank account in St. Paul's Bay, in the main road. Mid, -mid Bank it was called then. And uh, I did that video. Wow, what a difference. It's, it's not even nice to tell you the truth now, St. Paul's Bay. There's... There's like uh, skips and building work in every street and everybody's on top of each other. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'd go over there again. Giliru is not too bad and walking along the front, okay, but St. Paul's Bay itself, it's too cramped. And the old houses are all going, so the character is really going out of it. Oh, okay, the western part. I don't know, Andy. I'll have a look. Send me on uh, Facebook and then we'll see if we can find it. I don't really know much about that blatter. There's a lot of places called blatter. If I'm not mistaken, it means cliffs like that, so you get a lot of names with that. Neil, what's this one? Hi, Steve. Video was great, funny place to park. The car near the cliffs. Where, which one was that? I don't know How about that. Oh, yeah, go and see that guy. It's in Maltese, though. Uh, Argerish. But um, you can get the gist of it. Uh, he wants to... Maybe we'll go out together one time. I've been talking to him. He's got some awesome videos. The one when he got flooded. But that valley, 
Uh, it comes from Zabuch. It was done specially, though, for uh, runoff water from the, the village of Zabuch to go right down to the valley. And at the bottom of the valley is this uh, government sort of canals. So when the water flows, it really flows in water. Yeah, well, it would have been scary because he said he was walking. Could I, I speak to him sometimes? He said he was walking and there was a bit of rain. Uh, if you see him, guys, it's on um, Oledi Malta. Go and see his uh, link there. I forgot his name now, but it's, uh, he's got some really interesting videos. He said that he, he saw some of mine, and he, but he's a, he's a walker, he's a hiker, so he's, he's used to going these places. He went to a place that I never got to. If you remember, I went to Janina Bay, and I went over the top to Santa Maria Cave. But I didn't realize you have to come from the other side, from Formirich. If you come from Formirich along the coast, then you get to it. But he left little markers. I'll, it gave me a good idea. If you leave like bottles, these, you find a lot of these plastic bottles lying around. If you leave that, you know which way to go up, because sometimes that's a bit scary. Lorenza from Australia. Good morning. Chris from South Wales, how are you doing? Oh, we talked about that big pit. I want to go down there. One time we do a holiday there and we go along that place. Hello, Rachel and Frobe. I forgot how you pronounce that name. Frobe <laughs> from England. I'm hopeless. I've got a terrible, terrible memory. Oh, okay, Andy. Cork is great. I went out to Cork. I much prefer going out a little bit. Cork was a, bit, a little bit of a disappointment because it was a bit uh, more commercialised. But if you go out to, the, out to uh, the trails outside, oh, I really enjoyed it. Go and see Dingley, yes. How Dingley video of Englishman. He needs some views. It just went over the three, 300, I think. But that's really unusual for me. I've been doing great. I've been... Uh, uh, getting up to a thousand, fourteen hundred, and some of those with a little bit of uh, about the restaurants that gets up to six or seven thousand, I think it was. Yeah, England is doing good, eh? You're getting some good weather. It's like that, though, eh? Indian summer, they call it. Let's have some my lemon chill. <coughs> oh, what a name! Why is that, that Mick? Good morning. What about the police in uh, London? Are they cracking, still cracking down? I've been watching some videos. They're really buggers in the parks there. They've been harassing a lot of people. Here, here the Maltese police are really easy going. Not much hassle with them, eh? unless you really step out of line. But you hardly see anybody out in the streets. Emily, I don't know. You've got me there. I think the south is uh, more industrial, eh? But there is some nice places you can get to. Little bays and inside. You can, but you know, like Burzabuja, it's a bit ugly from the, from the looking out to sea. And uh, the north is more beautiful. It's got, you know, Malia Bay, Adira, uh, and you can go over to Chukawa and those places. I think the north is a lot more beautiful. Chris, how are you doing, Chris? 2011, about time you come back. Joseph. Oh, yeah, what's that? That's fantastic, hey, that, uh, that going up to the space station, Joseph. Yeah, I didn't really know much about it, and I just clicked on and I saw this uh, thing going on, because I don't keep much up to date with it. Yes, remember that live we did, Neil? I was determined to find it. Uh, I put Google Maps, and there you don't get a lot of reception. Wow, I'm okay, Purple Rain. How's the, how the famous Filipina? Oh, hell, I don't know about that. New video host, what's that? Uh, the, remember we did the highest point, um, and then when I started following Google, the, the reception kept on going off and on. Then I started the video right on top. I kept on walking, and I came to this... Somebody wrote on a, on a stone, this is uh, the highest point, and uh, was it 253 above sea level? No, Liam, it's very quiet. If you go to, go to Valletta, it's dead. 
There's nobody coming. There's, there's hardly any flights coming in. There's no ships coming in. Valletta really uh, keeps, the, the, keeps going with the ships because sometimes there's three or four ships in at once, so that's bringing quite a few thousand people in. Mario, Greg, how are you doing? Dolores, morning. Galetti, you want a bit? <laughs> Galetti today. I'm on a diet. Linda, tell me about it. I couldn't believe when I started going around some beautiful places. You know, but you've got a bit of a problem in Malta. The, the buildings are made out of stand, sandstone. So you've got some very old ones, like uh, a few hundred years old, and they're crumbling away. But even the, even I was looking at Berzabuccio going in the back streets, some of the old buildings, they need renewing, and they're like crumbling away. So what do you do? Do you replace them with places that look the same, or do you modernize it when young families need houses? It's a big dilemma. Yeah, I went Paradise Bay. But I want to do another one on Paradise Day. Walking from Paradise Bay. Remember when I did that uh, cave? Uh, the Artuta. There's Artuta looking over Paradise Bay. And there's a pathway I think I can find from Paradise Bay going up into Artuta. Maybe I'll do that one day. Just finding these pathways. Sometimes, oh, it's so difficult. And you get lost on the way. Oh, okay, Joseph, I didn't know that. I thought bars were open already, but you just can't... The bars are open, you just can't sit at the bar, eh? You can buy it and you can walk out. I think that was the uh, thing. Someone told me, I don't know if you know, Joseph, somebody told me that the flights are going to start the 1st of July. I don't know if that's... Uh, there's a lot of these hoax uh, going around. I don't know if that's uh, a real thing or not. I know he's talking, the Prime Minister is talking to different countries. Some of them are off limits, like UK is still getting a lot of things going on there. Seems They said it's getting better, but I, I can't see it by thousands of people being infected. I don't know. Kalkara? Kalkara's nice down there. Some of those, yeah, I remember. There was one at Ta'ali. Uh, Toilet attendants, fat guy, and really, really nice. I like, I like these where they take care of the toilets. They don't let the toilet paper inside the toilet. This is a good subject on Sunday morning. I went past the one in Floriana, and there's like a porter cabin by, I don't know if you've noticed it, guys, it's by the, the bus terminus. And there's people going in, and obviously the woman, the men, unless they want a number two, they don't get the toilet paper. But the woman obviously want the toilet paper. And she said, can I have some, the tourists, said, can I have some toilet paper? Said, yes, how much do you want? <laughs> I said, like, six inches or 12 inches? <laughs> I thought that was really, probably my humour, that's really funny. Sebastian from Switzerland. Wow, what a beautiful country. No, I didn't know anybody, but there is a few, sadly, there's a few people over in Dingley. And sadly, some people... Uh, choose, <laughs> choose to use Dingley as a place to end the, end the life. Uh, there's a lot of, there's a lot of uh, conversation about that. Uh, it's a bit of a sore subject about suicide in Malta because of the re of the religion. But I heard a lot of people. I don't, I didn't know this German guy. I didn't hear about that. How many years back though? That's the thing. Some tourists got in trouble. I, I don't know. I always have a joke about it. I don't know, where, where were they? Down by Formiri, I think they were... The guy was driving past this Italian couple in the car. And they saw this beautiful... It's beautiful down there. He said, go, go outside, love. Go and stand by the cliffs and I'll take a photograph of you. She said, oh, OK, I'll stand right on the edge. Yes, yeah, stand on the edge. So he got the camera out. He said, no, go back a little bit farther because I can't get all the view in. And she did, and she went off the edge. Then he tried to save her, and he went off the edge as well. So take care, guys, because very, very dangerous. Oh, in Valletta, the best one, but it's Italian. It's not Maltese ice cream. It's got the best. Go on to... Uh, I want to do it one day, but there's always a queue outside. In fact, I might, I might do it when I'm there. Last time, now with not many tourists, 
It's got fantastic, TripAdvisor, it's got fantastic, and don't ask me what the name, it's an Italian name. But that, I think that's the, best, that's the best ice cream, supposed to be, anyway. There is one in the square of uh, uh, Regina Square, he sells them there. Andy, why are you bothering me? No, no problem. I'll have a look. Send me, just to remind me on uh, Facebook, send me a message. And the links are below, guys, if everybody wants to get in touch with me. Uh, anybody wants to join Holiday Malta, my links are below. So uh, please give me a shout if you need anything. <laughs> this is the diet, Purple Rain. The trouble is, this has got more sugar. <laughs> Joseph. Oh, okay. So it's true. I got a guy from Norway. He's waiting to come and see his son here, and he sent me a message just um, on on uh, Facebook, and he saw something. But you've got to be careful because there's a lot of uh, fake news about. He saw this link about the first of July. Uh, uh, the the flights are coming in, but I don't think it's going to be flights for everybody. I think they're still talking about these sort of friendly countries because you, you can't open the borders to everybody. If you open all, all that infection coming in, we're going to be really... We've done so well as well. Malta is... I think we're on to about six deaths now and our infections have gone right down now. We had a little bit more infection when the shops opened and the restaurants opened, but it's gone down again to about two, uh, something like that. Troy, how are you doing from Australia? Oh, pumpkin pie. Yeah, there is some. It's, it's in season at the moment. Is that a Maltese? Is that Maltese? Uh, I never saw that on, the, on my recipe book. Oh, good. Um, the gyms are open, so I'll go and pump some iron. <laughs> Do I need it, guys? <laughs> Eugenia RC. Whoa, that's a difficult name. I'm not going to... Drizolova. Oh, <laughs> sorry, I broke that into pieces. You know, I don't know, Alistair. I don't know anything about that. That's going to be the interesting part. I think they make these decisions and they don't actually iron out all the problems that they're going to get into. I mean, what's the point of coming to holiday for a, for a week in, in Malta and you're going to be isolated for a week? It's, it's not worth it, eh? Listen, guys, you're 71 watching and only 39 thumbs up. So it just takes a second to click that bell. <laughs> And you know what, um, click the bell of notifications because you know when I'm coming live then you don't have to worry, you're not going to miss any videos, you're not going to miss, and double check, you subscribe to my channel because YouTube is going through this phase again. They, about two years ago they did it, they just unsubscribe hundreds of people and I don't, I don't even know what they achieve from that because they, surely they lose out on it as well. They, if they unsubscribe people from people's channel, they're not going to watch, they're not going to make any money, so seems crazy to me but everything is computerized now so god knows what goes through their brain yeah i saw that uh, ben first of july but i thought it might have been fake news there's a lot of garbage on facebook i don't like liam i don't like the way the uk have been doing things it seems a bit strange eh? especially that one going to Test his eyesight to a to a castle. They say it's all uh, it's all against the politics, but surely there's something in it that you drive to a castle to test your eyesight, and it's like 50 miles away. Go to Specsavers. That's the thing. Oh, be careful if you uh, and be careful in those uh, surgeries. You don't know what you cover up with a mask and everything. I don't want to lose a subscriber. Oh, okay, Joseph. Oh, that's good news. I'll, I'll pass that on then. I couldn't find it anywhere. I looked at different places. Oh, okay, Emily. That's good. Where did you find this information? Off the Facebook? Yeah, that's going to be... That's a bit worrying, eh? If they don't, uh, if they don't screen people. Hmm. 
nicest cheese. Vegetarian, it's, um, it's a bit sort of sharp. Uh, Danielle, you're talking about UK? Yeah, I've been hearing that. I've been watching some videos. They're scary. These people, the police are really aggressive in the parks. Yeah, I want to do it, uh, Michelle. Um, that's on the books. I'm going to walk up to Malia through uh, Manicata. There's a lovely walk right up to the bypass. Um, I have to look at it. It's a, it's a heritage trail of um, Manicata. Because there used to be a trail from the bottom going up to the Malia and going to that sort of grotto. There's a grotto of uh, Our Lady Grotto. You have to walk across Malia and go down into the sort of tomb. Caroline, how are you doing? Inverness. Oh, it's lovely up there, I bet. Oh, you gave me some thumbs up, guys. Thank you. I got 51 now. Inverness is beautiful, eh? When's the, when's the games, Caroline? When's the games on? I love it up there. What, I couldn't believe. You know, you see the uh, Scottish games tossing the cable. When I saw the size of this, it's, it's a tree, <laughs> a big lump of tree. And this guy picks it up on his chest like this and hurls it. Oh, I couldn't believe that. Uh, you see it on television and you think, oh, that looks quite insane. But when you're up close, and you see this big trunk of a tree that he hurls over. Wow, it's really, really impressive. Where was that, Andy? I don't know. Eh? Oh, I don't know about that, Andrian. Got machines that they put oranges in? Oh, I've no idea. I never had that, you know, potato hash. I know a friend of mine used to make an Irish one. It's supposed to be really good potato, potato hash. Just like uh, with corned beef, they make it something like that. Liz, how are you doing? Saying hello again to everybody. <laughs> Well, they, you've got money then if you chartered the flight. <laughs> well, what's the point of that? You charter a flight, come to the airport in your isolation. It's, uh, it's a waste of time, eh? I think so, Chris. I think that's what they're going to do. There's some, uh, I think it was Bulgaria, some Eastern Bloc countries. I think those are going to be restricted. None of the big ones, I think, they're not going to allow them to come in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whatever you want. I drink all those. Kidney, beer and wine, <laughs> no problem. Just the time is the problem, because with work, doing the videos, I, there's a few people that ask me to meet, and it's just impossible to meet them. You know, you just got to give up. I only get a few hours to do a video. Yeah, go to St. Anne's Gardens, they're nice. I, I saw them open the garden, but the garden is not supposed to be open, but I saw the garden open, it had one of those, those cones in the middle of the door, so perhaps they're not going to allow you to go in. But it's right near to me, it's just down here. It's nice. The trees are nice in St. Anton. There's trees from, uh, oh, because there used to be a garden of, uh, of a night. There's lovely fountains and trees from, uh, that's been sent from different countries. You should go. It's really, and when they start planting, because the, they start circulating the plants every time of year, they put different plants in. It's really nice. This is the road here. It goes all the way to St. Andron Gardens. And that's where the president's uh, uh, residence is. No, I never eat it. <laughs> I had a bit of a... Think about rabbit, and I don't know if it was uh, my stomach was used to get really upset with with rabbit and chicken. But then, when I've started eating yogurt, this uh, fresh yogurt every morning seems a lot, lot, lot better. Because I was reading about the bacteria, and that's some guys. You should look at that. I had the, used to have uh, terrible upset stomachs, and then I was reading that you have good and bad bacteria inside your gut. Uh, 
if you take fresh yogurt, natural yogurt, it puts in good bacteria and really helped me a lot. I feel a lot, lot better, even not so much of gas and, and full up. Everybody keeps asking me to do a rabbit casserole, uh, stuffat they call it, or motley. I don't know. And then there's other people saying, please don't do rabbit, Steve. <laughs> it's a shame for them. Oh, Neath, I've been there in Wales. Yeah, I used to dr come driving down there. Aura Palace is nice. They do like an afternoon tea thing. Yeah, I've, I've heard about that. I've, uh, I've never been, but there was to be um, Suncrest as well. Suncrest was uh, very popular for, for like tea and biscuits and things like that. Oh, is that what it's called, Gerard? Yeah, I, I, it's got uh, good ratings on... Uh, I see a big queue there sometimes when I'm walking down and I thought oh, it would be good to do a video, walk in and order something and try it out, do a, like a rate of it. Okay, Liam, thank you. Thanks for coming. Thanks for stopping by. Come back to Malta someday. Yeah, it's a shame, eh? That was burned down a long time ago. Uh, then they rebuilt it. Then it got a direct hit in the Second World War. Uh, there is a lot of, online you can find a lot of pictures of it, how it originally, in fact some of my, I did a video of it I think, of Valletta. It was a beautiful place. Uh, and then it was uh, left like that, and then they put this sort of metal thing, because they have concerts in the summer there sometimes, at the Opera House. Sorry guys, we're talking about the Opera House, because there's a comment about uh, the Opera House. Andy was talking about it. Yeah. Have you even, Dave, have you... Uh, Try some ice cream. What's it like there? I, Italians really know how to make it, eh? Know how to make ice cream. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I know you're subscribed to my channel. <laughs> See you, Liam. Have fun. What are you doing? Are you working? Wow, Andy, of course it's strange. And I don't know how it's going to get back to normal. It's going to be very unusual. Everybody's going to wear masks the rest of our lives. It's going to be really awkward. I hated the mask. Why, Ben? You don't like it? I might need to test my eyesight. I hear Malta is a perfect place. Nowhere is perfect. But it's, uh, it's beautiful in places. Oh, wow, you've got uh, a bit of a problem there, hey? Both of you stay safe. I'm sure you're, uh, you've had, um, you're getting checked and, th and that. That's the problem, eh? Hey? You're, you're in contact every day. I don't know, Daniel. Adriana where? What place? Bernardo Castle. Oh, that <laughs> what we're talking about is high side. <laughs> Did they do eye, eye tests there? <laughs> he could have come up with a more plausible excuse. Wow, Andy, of course. America, unbelievable. But you know, there's a lot of videos. You follow some of the videos of the way the abuse of police, not just the black, the whites as well. They're getting completely out of control. The police there, I've been, I've been watching, maybe we're only talking about a small percentage that actually video, but the aggression when they stop you on the side of the road, they're looking for something, they bring the dogs for testing. Um, there was one that was just a, she had a kid in the car. She was just a, a normal woman. And if it hadn't been this guy that was videoing on the side, they were really aggressive. They got her out of the car, they tested all for drugs and things like that. They didn't find any drugs. And in the end, they charged her for not enough water in the spray of the, of the window screen. It's like as if they were going to find something, whether, whether you like it or not. And just not the way to, uh, even the way they come to the car, they're very aggressive. Here we don't get that in Malta. We're very, very lucky. Adriana, go to Ding Gingli. You're going to see some nice places. And go to Rabat if you want to see some uh, grottos and tombs. 
there's a boat in uh, Rabat. Most of the houses had uh, tombs underneath. In fact, now over the years, they've blocked them off because they were all interconnected with the St. Agathas and uh, uh, those, all the big places. There was loads of tombs. And that used to be coming from Imdina because Imdina was the capital then. And Rabat was the place where they used to bury everybody. Well, I hope so. That would be uh, Sanjiha, Sanjiwa. <laughs> yes, in how are you doing? Oh, doing good. Happy Sunday. Welcome to live, Englishman live. We're doing good. We're getting a nice day today. A little bit breezy. The wind is just that little bit uh, not so hot. But the they're going to be open, uh, Emily, but what's going to come? What flights are going to go out? I see, uh, I see Emirates, because Emirates, uh, I, I was over at Emirates last year, over Dubai. And they sent me uh, a thing that you can, you can uh, the flights are going to start from the 1st of May, so I don't know. I don't know if they're going to be May or July, those. Perhaps Emirates are going to be a bit different. Gary, hello, welcome. Good morning from Englishman. Welcome to my live. Every Sunday at one o'clock, give me a thumbs up. Oh, I've got 67 watching and 64 thumbs, so you did it. Go over and see my video, uh, the latest one of the caves in Dingley. It's awesome. I've got Alison to thank for that because she told me how to get to this cave. I never knew it was there. Uh, and in fact, I've named it the Hidden Cave because I've been on that road dozens of times. It goes all the way to Sujui. You would never imagine what's underneath you. Uh, go and see it. It's 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 really out of this world and the views a little bit scary the path going along but I really enjoyed it oh okay Karina okay in July and August I was I was over there in yeah I think I was over there I caught them one year we're talking about or oh, at least uh, when my mother-in-law was alive it was some time ago we, we caught them there in Nern are they in different places uh, Nern we went to and we saw some games there Hello, Lutia, how are you doing from Vleta? He's a crazy football. Balzan is better. Balzan is the champions. <laughs> That'll upset him, because he's crazy Vleta football. Oh, okay, Emily. So, potatoes, corned beef, onions, carrots, gravy, and fresh bread. I'll try it. Sounds lovely. You want to cook it for me? Put it in a parcel and send it over. What, Andy? My God, if I could only spell you join the club, because I'm hopeless as well. I'm not sure if ever you've noticed on the messages. No, I don't have chess today. Richard, anybody can guess what it is? It's from Italy. The ice is gone. I love this. It's really refreshing. Who can guess what it is? First one to guess what it is, I send you a Maltese biro. How's that? Go and send me the address on uh, Englishman's Facebook. First one that tells me what I'm drinking. David, how are you doing? I'm going to send you a biro, the first one. I don't know this goes to a close second. This is nice. Lovely, refreshing. <laughs> Andrea, you like rabbits? So I'll make a stew. Stuff fat. Oh, I'm going to skip some of the comments because they're coming in. Go to Rabat for tombs. There's plenty there. Yeah, so who's one? Ben was the first one, I think. Send me your address, Ben. I don't think anybody was before Ben. Ben, number one. I've got a boy, I don't have him here, but I'm going to... I'm going to look back. Ben was the first one. Ben Deakin. Send me your address on uh, Facebook, and I'll send it over to you. We do this on, uh, we do this every week, we do something. Because I've got a whole bunch of biros from, 
You too late, Tom. <laughs> wow, too many. Ben is the first one, and I can't send me over uh, your address, Ben. I'll send it to you. We we'll do it next week, guys. We we'll do something. I've got some maggots. Uh, ma maggots. <laughs> you wouldn't want some maggots. Eh? <laughs> magnets. Some Maltese magnets. I'll do that as well. We we'll do something next week as well. Everybody knows. Oh no, Roger. It's not a kidney. It's a wrong colour for kidney. <laughs> First one is Ben. Ben Deacon. Nobody came before him. Hey. Okay. Ben, send me your address over. Uh, Englishman Facebook, and I'll, I'll send it for you. <laughs> but I won't do, Andy, I'll do <laughs> some maggots, <laughs> Tom. <laughs> you want some Maltese maggots? We used to, you know what I, we used to do? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to upset you a lot now. In England, we used to go fishing. And this guy said, I was seeing this guy uh, on the seven, Trent. I was seeing this guy, and he was catching loads of uh, fish. So how are you? We're getting no bites at all. He says, oh, I warm the maggots up. I said, you warm them? How do you warm them? He says, I'll put them here and keep them for a few minutes on my tongue. <laughs> Too late, Buster. I said, oh, God, you put the maggot here and keep it and then put it on the hook and he, uh, and then he gets it. He gets loads of fish. He was getting, I was still young then. I said, no, I'm not going to put it, not for any fish, I'm going to do that. Sorry, guys, I missed some of the comments because you were coming in a bit faster then. Don't forget, Ben, send me, send me your address over. We'll do this every week, guys. I've got a few little things I'll send over. I've got a little uh, card and, uh, and uh, some, uh, some maggots. I'll send you some maggots. I'm not sure if they're going to be alive by the time they get to you. <laughs> um, you know what I've got coming next week? <laughs> yeah, I couldn't. Simple life. I, do, I wouldn't do that. But he was getting... It was getting loads of them. It was, uh, you know, England is a cold place. It was a freezing place. And I couldn't believe that he did it. Georgia and Asia. I, open up, I hope Emily has spelt it right. Asia. That's an unusual name, eh? Oh, thank you, Mark. So we've got 301 views. <laughs> Series. But the camera was having problems with the camera. I'm still trying to get the accessories for the GoPro and the Sony, I have to hold it in my hand. So if it's a bit sharp, I'm sorry about that, but there's nothing really I can do because when I'm climbing on the cliffs and I'm trying to hold the camera, it, it's very difficult to move you, your wrist. When I had the, the uh, selfie stick, it was a lot, lot better. Anyway, that's my small problem. The GoPro, I'm still waiting for the accessories because the microphone on the cliffs, that's why I make music when I put it on my head because you wouldn't hear anything. It's just a, just a roaring sound all the time. Wow, Adriana, a headless teddy. That was mine. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. He was catching loads. He was a typical fisherman though. I thought it was just shocking. Even my mate, there was, we used to be two of us, we go out uh, fishing together. And my, we were talking together and we said, look at this guy over there, he's catching loads all the time. And we were catching nothing. Larry, you're too late. Next week we'll do something. Watch out for it. I'll throw some, uh, a little quiz just to keep you interested. <laughs> Mark, is it true? <laughs> you must have bad television there if you think watching me is better than than TV. Lorenzo, bye. Ten o'clock, so time for bed. <laughs> yeah, I did it in the cave when I went into uh, when I met with Ozzy. I did them both together. I was swapping from one to the other. The GoPro has got that bit of a tinge to it. It's not as nice as the Sony. The lens of the Sony and the microphone, you can't fault those. The Sony is 100%. Now he's bringing out a new one in um, July Sony with the screen and with the... But it's like 800. 800 is a lot of money. <laughs> Emily, you should try it. <laughs> 
Hi Sue. No problem, I'm here for a bit. Another five, ten minutes. I'll keep you to an hour so you won't get too bored. You just you just missed Sue. You just missed the quiz. Come on a bit earlier next week. I'll do something next week. I'll ask you a question and see if, who's the first one to answer it. Ben, Ben was the first one today. I'll give you uh I've got a few biros and a few uh, magnets. Start at one o'clock, Joseph. Every Sunday, one o'clock. We do for about an hour, see how it's going. Um, the wind has died down a bit. I was seeing the wind coming like crazy. But now it's a little bit better. I won't keep it too long. I don't want these ones that go on for three or four hours live. It's crazy. Yeah? Just do like about an hour to see everybody is. Maybe they want to ask me something, uh, tell them what's happening. Listen, next week, we're going to do the cooking one. Um, I might put three up next week, I'm not sure. Because the, the one of the childhood memories is just a throwaway, you know, just a bit of fun I have, just a 10 minute one. But I've also got a video of uh, Chadwick Lakes. I went over there yesterday. Hello, Philip. Don't fall of your chair, right, still, oh, okay, I thought you were talking to me. Malta time, yes, Yazin. 1300 every day. Okay, Tom, um, coming up, Tom, don't forget, uh, cooking one on Tuesday, I'm gonna do um, Chadwick Lakes. They're continuing on with the refurbishment. Looks really awesome, they've, they've drained all the water out and they've started digging it now. So that's gonna be part two. Very, very interesting. I was just having that same problem with the camera. It's like a bit restricted to, to move it, but uh, bear with me. I'm going to try and do something about it. Okay, old queen. Yeah, some people have been telling us. But there's not going to be a lot of flights coming into Malta, I think. No, they said there's not going to be any festas this year. So I don't know if they're going to hold to that. But we're going to get some fireworks, because we already got some fireworks. So maybe we'll have fireworks, but we won't have the statue going round. I'm not sure how they're going to do anything like that. But I'm sure they're not going to uh, do anything this year. For, for definite, the summer is out for, for Festa, for the, uh, the feast. Ian, hello. How are you doing? Go and watch my videos, guys. The 60 watching. At least I get an extra 60 views for the dingly one. Dingley Cave is awesome. It's really, really, it was a shock to find it when I climbed up the, cave, up the cliffs and turned into this cave. You just wouldn't believe what you see. It's going to be like that though, Joseph. I'm sure, Joseph, I think it's going to be no festa this year. You know, but there is plenty of things in Malta without the festa. Festa uh, is nice and it's good for the village and everybody gets together, but... It's better than getting infections. I think that's the, I think they did it on purpose, the government. They didn't give them, because they give them like a, a little bit of a subsidy for the festers. Even for the carnival, they've been giving them as well. And they're not going to give it, so they're not going to do it. So uh, to stop them doing it. Yeah, 70th. Thank you, Andy. You're the 74th. <laughs> Arlene, I don't know. There is just started now from Gozo. Someone sent me a message and they were doing the first tour into Comino. So maybe they do it with restricted access and masks and uh, social distancing, something like that. They did some fireworks. I don't know what was going on. Um, I don't know last night they did it over, because I can see Santalina here. Santalina Church. Soon it's going to be blocked off because somebody's building this apartment. But there's about three or four uh, fireworks going off, so I don't know what was going on in Brikakara. Yeah, is it? I, I don't know whether I'd go on a tour like with social distancing, everybody with masks, and uh, it's no fun for me anyway. Oh, Josef, you Floriana. That was fun, Floriana. Some years ago, I went to the morning band march. Uh, somebody told me go to the band march because it's it's really it's really interesting, Floriana. And I was walking with the band. Then I saw these people starting throwing things off the, off the top. I'd never experienced that before. I think that's the only festa they do. They show, and this one guy uh, threw an uh, inflatable sunbed off the top of the roof. 
everybody shouting, throwing balls, and it was really good fun. You, you, you live in uh, Floriana, Josef? I'm sure you know about that band march. I really enjoyed it. I haven't been for a long time. Yeah, 75. Where's the 76? On my side is 75. Make it a 76. <laughs> yeah, we're getting there. I want to, I want to get that video going because the computer, the one of Dingley. So if you haven't seen it, guys, go and have a quick look at it. Give me a thumbs up over there. Yeah, sorry, Chris. I saw the Slima restaurants, but I don't think it's any fun sitting there. You know, like uh, it just seems the atmosphere has gone out of a restaurant if people are sitting away from each other and the the masks, uh, the waiters with masks and things like that. I, I don't think I would go. I don't think I enjoy it there. Davia, it's everybody's been selling. Looking back on the comments. 1st of July, they've been saying, but I don't know what flights are coming in and I don't know what flights are going out. Rabindra, will you tell me the condition of Malta? <laughs> I think that's translated wrong. What the condition? I don't know. Condition of Malta is very good, I think. Hey, Josef, you live in Zurich. You want to do a video with me? Give me a message on, uh, I'm doing a lost in. I'm looking for people at different villages. Perhaps we'll have a chat and you show me some places. Up to you. Give me a message on uh, Facebook, uh, Englishman Facebook. Uh, tell me you're interested and we'll meet up. Maybe give it a month or so when it's a little bit better. But I'll be getting back to my lost ins now. I'm going to Zuria, uh, Zaba. Uh, I was thinking about Zuria, Rendi, those places. Valraya. Malta is open. <laughs> Must be, because I can see people walking around. Oh, at last they're starting some flights. Listen, guys, coming up for an hour. Last few uh, messages, and we'll cut off. My la I'm almost out of drink. Give me a shout, Josef, if you're interested. Ben is going to send me the message because he's the winner this week. Watch out for next week. I'm going to do the same sort of thing. I've got some. I'll have them next week. It was just an idea popped into my head. I thought I'd do something and surprise you a lot. See you guys. Thanks a lot. Hope you're enjoying the videos. Uh, thanks for the thumbs up. It's really helped. Uh, this will just to let you know. If anybody wants to watch the re the replay of this, the comments don't appear straight away. They appear the next day. Uh, it's just a quirk of YouTube, I don't know, until it's been analysed, uh, I reckon they see if the comments are, is any bad comments and that sort of thing, but it'll be out the next day, so if anybody clicks on the video and they don't see the, their comments, it'll be the next day. Thanks Guy, hope you enjoyed it, go and watch my Dingley video, I need some help. Uh, a couple of videos next week, probably the Chadwick Lakes and there's a cooking one and there's a childhood menu, uh, memories, food, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Bye, guys. Thanks a lot. Happy Sunday. Take care. Stay safe, guys.